well, the first time I, I decided to go caving, it seemed like an adventure. Going someplace where most people don't go, uh, doing things that most people don't do, that was uh, enticing. And the, the mere fact that most of the people I did it with were not enjoying it was even was even more intense because I loved it, and it, it just made me a little different from everybody else, and I liked that too. I mean, I, I guess that's what it was. It made me want to do it the first time. I didn't know anything about caving. I didn't know what was down there, and I found a lot more down in a, there than I ever thought could be there. about 12 years I enjoyed every minute of it. The job I've had for the last year has kept me from it, so I really only came about once a month now. I used to cave every weekend for about 10 years, almost every weekend. Yeah, it was great. I personally do not yeah, care to be a trip leader very much. I'm, uh, I have a yeah. very poor sense of direction in the cave, get lost very, very easily. But I'm a wonderful follower. I'm a wonderful, goofy person. I usually have the, the spare hat or the spare water bottle or whatever anybody else doesn't have to, to lend out. And you need people like that, too. What do I do? Uh, utility worker in a heat treating plant. I I work very hard. <laughs> we put metal pipes into the furnace and make them hard or soft or whatever the customer wants. It's hard work, but it's good, honest labor. That's supposed to be good. Caving can be dangerous or it can be perfectly safe. And there's been a lot of close calls and, and almost in my caving career and we worked them out. We got out of it because of thinking it out in advance, pretty much. You know, be, being prepared is very important. Mentally prepared as well as having the physical things with you that you need. Um, mental preparation for being lost, being cold, being hurt, um, and knowing you can get out of it. My family is very supportive of my caving path, I would say. I have elderly parents. My mother passed away a year ago, but she's 
85, 86. She hung on my every word when I'd come home and tell her about the cave trips. She was vicariously caving with me, and my dad still does. He's 87 now, and he loves to hear, every, hear my tales about caving, and he's very interested. My children, well, I've taken them all caving with me, and um, they are, everyone's very supportive. They think I'm a little nuts sometimes, but they, they don't care. I'm their mommy and I'm the caver. My grandchildren call me cave grandma. That's the, the grandma that I am to differentiate from the other grandmas. I'm the cave grandma. Okay.